Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Now, it doesn't feel like more than a few days since I was moaning about how bleeding hot it was, but now the tables have turned and it's a little bit chilly. I mean, as the meme says, you know it's cold outside when you go outside and it's cold. And it's cold. So, I've had a quick check of the weather forecast and for the next week the low temperatures are all below 10 degrees. So I had been saying to myself that was going to be the trigger to think about bringing the goldfish inside. So if you want to know what I'm talking about, there'll be a card in one of the corners talking about my little mini garden pond where we put my fancy goldfish in there. So we put that fish out there um, over the summer and he's been doing really well in there, looks really happy. All well, the wife and the kids and all that say he's getting really fat. I can't really see it myself but we'll need to do a bit of a comparison. But it is getting a bit too cold for him so let's go and grab him out and we'll put him into the fish room. We talked about um, setting up the White Cloud Mountain Minnow Tank and that was going to be the tank that the goldfish was going to spend his winter in. It's a little bit warmer in the fish room even though I'm not heating that particular tank. It is a warm room so there will be a little bit of heat in there so we need to get them acclimatised. So let's go on with that. So I've got my trusty bucket and my net so the plan is we'll nip outside to the front, have a look in the pond, see if we can see him, fill this up and get him in. Actually it looks quite healthy, the water's pretty clear, the plants are doing well. A little bit of algae. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Um, the water is very cold. So, I'll just fill up this little bucket. And go on a hunt for the goldfish, usually he's hiding down here and behind the plant pots. And sure enough, there he is. Success! So, sorry for the noise, I think the air pump's on its way out. It's about to die in horrible death. But, this is the tank these, the goldfish is going to go in. This is the one with the white cloud mountain minnows that I set up a few days ago. Um, it's not heated, like I said, but it is in a, a warm room. So this room is currently running at 24 degrees. Um, the water that's just come out of the pond will be less than half that. So if I were to just dump them straight in, that would be quite a shock. It would be quite stressful. So my plan is, I could bag up the fish and float them for a while. But what I'm going to do instead is just use some of this airline tubing. Tie a bit of a knot in it. Like so. Dump one end in the tank. Just start a siphon with this end. You should see eventually. Once you get it untangled, dump one end in the tank, making sure that it's under the water, and then just start a siphon with this knot. See it coming down, and then we'll see it coming out here eventually. Kind of something like that, it's fine. I'll just put a little clamp. over this just to make sure it stays in place. You don't want to actually clamp the airline itself because then it won't work. Then I can just set that in there. Give that about 15-20 minutes and uh, keeping an eye on it because obviously it'll just overflow if not. Um, but that will get that combined with the temperature in the room will raise it slowly enough that it won't shock the fish. And then I can just plop them straight in. Okay, he's been there for nearer 45 minutes actually than 15 or 20, but looking good. So I think it's time to get him in here. Um, so, literally, scoop, drop. So 
So I'm going to use the same net I used to get them out. I would normally just do this with my hands actually, but as I'm holding the camera with this one, it's a little bit tricky. Oh, come on, matey. There we go, got them in here. And there you go, he's in. So, as you can see, this wood is continuing to kick out some fuzz, um, but the, the fish are picking it off. It's all gone from up here, more being kicked out down here. But I don't know, I'm not entirely sure. He does seem to have a big fat belly, just like his owner. He doesn't seem all that much bigger for spending a couple of months outside. But the fins look in good shape. We'll let them settle in for a bit. The white clouds, they are looking awesome. Uh, once I look at some older pictures, we'll do some before and after, and hopefully we'll be able to tell. But at least he looks healthy. I can see what the kids meant about him having a big fat belly. Hey folks, thanks for joining me. We'll see you in the next one. Remember, click that subscribe button, share it somewhere, tell your friends who have fish tanks about the channel, and see if we can get a few more subscribers in, a few more views. All helps me out. But thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Na 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 na. And the fancy Aranda. Fancy Aranda? 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 Is that the right word? Doesn't sound right. Aranda. Aranda.